All right, today we're going to talk about the new dynamic notch, the multiple dynamic notch, the SLDF, the sliding discrete 4A transform, all the goodness coming in Betaflight 4.3. And uh, he basically rewrote the algorithm for the targeting of the dynamic notch. And there's some pretty big improvements, the biggest of which is it can target multiple peaks now. In addition to it being able to target multiple peaks, he also increased the resolution of the targeting itself. So if you can imagine in the old dynamic notch code, you're having that spectrograph, that nice smooth spectrograph, and that was being split up into 16 bins. The same thing occurs with the new dynamic notch filter code, but you can see these bins are a lot tighter spaced. Furthermore, it runs faster. You can see our 0.71 is right about here and right about here on this size. That is the, the width between these two in Hertz. That's the bandwidth. 